What's good, everybody? It is your girl, Angelic Barbie, back here today, finally doing my first face cam review video and y'all today i'm gonna talk about this wwe 2017 royal rumble i watched it last night on the wwe network of course for 9.99 <laughs> so let me tell you guys i have so much to say in this review about the royal rumble last night if you guys haven't watched it i suggest you click off the video because it's gonna be some spoilers up in here but let me go ahead and get right into it, baby, child. I'm going to say overall, we're going to talk about the overall Royal Rumble. It was some good, some bad, and some ugly, all right? Overall, I thought the Royal Rumble was pretty okay. But when you actually got to the Royal Rumble, it was a disappointment, in my opinion, you guys. It was a disappointment. And you know why it was a disappointment? Because, I mean... <sighs> The outcome. Okay, let me talk about, let me talk about, let's not get on the Royal Rumble yet. Yeah, I'm going to say that for last. So I was happy my boy John Cena came back and reclaimed his throne as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Him going against AJ Styles, that was a phenomenal match. It was epic. It was like awesome. Like John Cena was doing his things. He was doing some new moves. I swear to God. When John Cena was up in the corner and he was like flexing, he was like, Ugh! like when he was flexing, I swear to God, I thought Goldberg was about to come out, bro. I thought like he was about to spear AJ Styles because, you know, he was in the corner like flexing and shit. Like, I'm like, bro, is John Cena Cena's about to spear? Is Roman Reigns coming out of him? Like, what's going on? Is Goldberg coming out? But he did like this crazy like close, this clothesline and clothesline AJ Styles. So, it was pretty good. And... Oh my God, the back-to-back -back attitude adjustment. That was epic. Like, John Cena was doing his thing in that match. AJ Styles was doing it. They was both doing their thing. So, that was really, really good match. So, I was happy that my boy walked out. The 16-time world heavyweight champion, baby. I'm a big John Cena fan, if y'all didn't know. I like Orton, Randy Orton, too. But John Cena is also up there with Randy Orton. But... I was so happy when my boy walked out the 16 time world heavyweight champion baby now um there was other matches that i really didn't pay attention to that were kind of boring it was charlotte versus bailey I, i'm not really a bailey fan but i was rooting for bailey to win because i'm just so tired of charlotte with this stupid wwe women's title reign like she's been the champion for too long like come on let's see somebody else come in beat the heck out of charlotte and get the champion like they screw over my girl sasha banks three or four times like she had the championship for like a week and then they gave it right back to charlotte like this flip-flop like hamburger patty crap like they gotta stop with that because i'm tired of that so i was honestly rooting for bailey i wanted her to win but unfortunately did y'all see that nasty next selection that charlotte did on the side of the ring like i thought she like broke her back or something bro like the way she landed but that was nasty a nasty next selection on the side of the freaking ring and then she ended up beating bailey so charlotte retained her title and i was just like really nigga bro really so that match was all right but let's get to the overall royal rumble so big Cass came out as number one and i was happy because i'm like you know big Cass is kind of cool i like him i thought enzo was coming out but he actually did come out as number 27 but it was cool so they started off with um big Cass, and big Cass was holding his own he was doing his thing then you know we had all these other weak people coming out that i really don't care the royal rumble overall was really bad no surprise peep no surprise guesses no surprise superstars nothing phenomenal was great about it the only great thing about that whole royal rumble was the undertaker goldberg brock lesnar i mean that was the only damn thing and the only thing that was, you know, fun about it was, like I said, Braun Strowman, bro. He was putting in that work, boy. He was eliminating people left and right, baby. Like, he was doing his thing. Like, I thought he was about to pass up Roman Reigns' freaking record, but he didn't. So, I was just like, OMG. Like, Braun Strowman was doing his thing. They was hyping him up, though. But, like, he needs some spotlight. You know, Braun Strowman is pretty cool, but I'm not a fan of him. But he was doing his thing, baby. He was putting in that work. So, it was pretty cool until 
Bar Baron Corbin came in and freaking eliminated him. Oh my God, like he did all that work and then Baron Corbin came right in and eliminated him. So I know like Braun Strowman was mad as hell. He was the only one that was really doing all the work. I mean, the, you know, you had Mark Henry, you had the big show, but I don't care about them. Like it was weak. Like I thought the Royal Rumble was honestly weak as hell, y'all. I think weak as hell. Like it really was. It was, it was boring to me the only like i said the only entertaining part was when brock lesnar came out every the crowd went crazy goldberg and the and the phenom the undertaker that was the only like and bray wyatt bray wyatt was doing his thing you know chris jericho was sitting on the sideline the whole roy rumble being a little i'm not gonna even say it being a little pussy and not fighting and stuff and he still got eliminated with his weak ass but anyway guys the Royal Rumble overall was, I thought it was boring. Like, I just, no surprise guesses, no surprise superstars, nothing. Like, I just thought, like, and let me tell you the crazy part. Brock Lesnar came out. I'm thinking, like, oh, yeah, he about to suplex city, everybody. He about to F fight. He was doing his thing. But when Goldberg came out, my heart sank because I knew it was about to get real up in that mug. Like, it was about to get real, y'all. Like, OMG. And let me tell you the crazy thing about it. When Goldberg came out, he eliminated Brock Lesnar. He eliminated Brock Lesnar in like a minute or so. He humiliated Brock Lesnar again, just like he did at Survivor Series, bro. I'm just like, I thought it was going to be an epic collage. I thought it was going to be like some epic going, like epic match going on. He threw freaking Brock Lesnar out the ring like he was a rag doll, bro. Like he was a, 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 a brown paper bag. Like he was just a dish, a dirty dish rag. I mean, he just did him so wrong. So when Brock Lesnar got eliminated, Brock Lesnar was just sitting on the ground like, Really, nigga? Bro, really? You did that to me again. You humiliated me again. Like, what the heck? So, Goldberg was up in there doing his thing, spearing everybody, jackhammering everybody. He was doing his thing. And then he gets eliminated. He gets a. How you gonna. You hype Brock Lesnar up. You hype Goldberg up. And then Goldberg gets eliminated, bro. I'm just like, WWE. I paid $9.99 for a good show. Not $9.99 for some BS. So when Goldberg got eliminated, I'm just like, bro, it's going to go back downhill. Boo, boring. And then, of course, the phenom, the Undertaker, came out looking awesome as hell. He he ain't even cracked, bro. He still looked the same from, like, day one when he first debuted in WWE. He ain't cracked in age at all. So when he come, came out, he was choke slamming the hell out of everybody. He was just going left and right doing his thing. So it was really, really good. Like the Undertaker, it was good to see him. But I'm gonna tell you guys the most saltiest thing, the most, ugh, the thing that pissed me off the most was when number 30 came out. I'm thinking, bro, number 30 about to be somebody phenomenal. The number 30 about to be like a surprise superstar we ain't seen in like decades. Bro, it was Roman freaking Reigns. Number 30 in the Royal Rumble was Roman Reigns. We did all this waiting, hoping, dreaming. I was like, damn, like, Kurt Angle, like, somebody coming out. It was Roman Reigns. And now, I'm not being rude. I'm not a Roman Reigns fan. I don't hate Roman Reigns. Like, I know some of y'all probably like some Roman Reigns fans. But I'm just so sick and tired of Roman Reigns. I'm tired of him. Like, I'm just, oh, like, damn, can he go back to the shield? Like, can y'all make him a hill? Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> but can y'all do something with him? I was mad. I'm just like, Roman Reigns, number 30. We did all this waiting, hoping, and dreaming, and sorrowing for Roman Reigns. And then the, the freaking messed up part, Roman Reigns came out and eliminated The Undertaker. The Undertaker. He came out and eliminated The Undertaker. I'm like, y'all done made The Undertaker come out here, look like a badass, and then make him look like a damn fool when when um Roman Reigns came out and eliminated him. I'm like, what was the point of having the Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, and The Undertaker in the freaking match if they gonna get eliminated? That was just a waste of time, like, honestly. But anyway, so it was getting down to the last of it. And it was down to, like, Roman Reigns and a few people. I was like, if Roman Reigns wins 
the freaking Royal Rumble. I'm about to pull my freaking hair out. I'm, I'm serious. I was like, bro, he better not win. Like, I don't like having issues with Roman Reigns, but like I told you guys, I'm just so sick of him. Like, ugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was coming down to the last few. And, you know, Bray Wyatt, everybody was getting eliminated. Chris Jericho getting eliminated. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, like, he about to win, bro. I'm so pissed. Like, I don't want him to win. He won last year. Get somebody else the opportunity to make us a WrestleMania and win the World Rumble. So, out of nowhere, my boy, the Viper, Randy Orton, come out of nowhere. RKO Roman Reigns and eliminates him. And he wins the Royal Rumble. Rumble. I swear to God, Randy saved us all because I swear to God, I thought Roman Reigns was about to win. Randy Orton RKO out of uh, Roman Reigns out of nowhere, eliminated him and saved us all from the Roman Reigns. It's like OMG, bro. So I was happy that my boy Randy Orton won the Royal Rumble, saved us some Roman Reigns again. And you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was overall. I was happy with the result. I would rather somebody else win than Roman Reigns. I'm just, I would rather somebody else win than Roman Reigns. So my boy Randy Orton ended up winning the Royal Rumble, and he's going on to WrestleMania, guys. But I, that's pretty much it on the review of the Royal Rumble 2017 Royal Rumble. Let me know, y'all. Let me know what y'all thoughts and opinions are about this crappy booty cheeks freaking royal rumble do y'all think that it was fun do y'all think it was boring do y'all think it was worth it how did you guys feel about randy orton winning the uh uh the royal rumble how did you guys feel about when brock lesnar got eliminated how did you guys feel when randy when um how did you guys feel when Roman Reigns eliminated The Undertaker and when Goldberg got eliminated? How do you guys feel about that? Like, I want to know down below in the comment section what y'all feel, what y'all think. Because I just really want to know what y'all opinions are. Because, I mean, like I said, I think that overall it was bad. I, I think it was boring. I think it was bad. And they could have did better. We didn't have no guest appearances. Like, we had, like, the weakest, like, roster ever. Like, no Kurt Angle, no The Rock. I mean, Stone Cold. Nobody, like, surprising came out. So, I just thought that it was really boring. But that's just my opinion, you guys. Um, let me know down below. What did you guys think? How did you guys feel about Goldberg? How did you guys feel about Roman Reigns? How did you guys feel about Randy Orton winning? What did y'all think about the Phenom, the Undertaker? How did you guys think about the Ro Royal Rumble overall? Was it fun? Was it boring? Was it worth it? Give me your opinions. Let me know. Share with me, guys. But anyway, y'all, that is going to be it on my 2017 Royal Rumble review. It's your favorite game of girl, Angelic Barbie. And I'm out, y'all.